Assalamu alaikum, this is your brother Rayyan Arab recording for the Prophet's Path. Many people nowadays cannot go out throughout their day without telling a single lie. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu warned us about lies and he told us in a few narrations that lies are traits of the hypocrites. A person who lies, you know, he is likely to be a hypocrite if he is not a hypocrite already. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the glorious Quran in multiple verses that the liars are going to the hellfire and that the liars are the disbelievers and you know that they are going to receive a punishment that not any other person receives. Why? Because they lie and they deny. And we know that many Muslims nowadays do lie throughout their day and they are unable to tell the truth sometimes. Even when they're joking, they lie. They tell jokes uh, as uh, they tell lies in the form of jokes. This is a big issue and it has a solution and the solution is for us to contemplate upon the verses and the hadith, the verses from the glorious Quran and the hadith of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I want to share with you this verse from the glorious Quran where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَقُولُوا لِمَا تَصِفُوا أَلْسِنَتَكُمْ الْكَذِبَ هَذَا حَلَالٌ وَهَذَا حَرَامٌ لِتَفْتَرُوا عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبِ إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَفْتَرُونَ عَلَى اللَّهِ الْكَذِبَ لَا يُفْلِحُونَ Verily, those people who tell lies against Allah, about Allah, those people do not succeed. So you have different types of lies. You have lies that are halal, that you know, th there are halal lies and there are haram lies. The haram lies are the ones that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want us to do. The halal lies that the Messenger وسلم, told us about are three. The Messenger وسلم, mentioned three uh, lies that we could uh, uh, we could use and these are not considered lies. The Messenger وسلم, said, لَيْسَ الْكَذَّابَ الَّذِي يُصْلِحُ بَيْنَ النَّاسِ فَيُنَمِّي خَيْرًا The person who fixes between two people is not a liar. A person who tells a lie to fix between two people is not considered a liar. Hence, he will not receive a sin for that lie as long as he's fixing between two people. So for example, there is a spouse, a husband and a wife. They have a big argument. They have an issue. They are unable to fix what's between them. A, a third person comes, their son or their daughter comes and they fix what's between them. What happens? And they fix what's between them by saying, um, uh, Oh mom, do you know dad said good things about you? Do you know that, you know, he, he, he's like, I cannot live without you and he never said that <laughs> he was like you know i want to choke her i want to get rid of her but you tell the mom the opposite you see this is fixing between two people this is halal this is okay you could do this why because the intention is good and the result will be good inshallah the uh, second type is in the war when you are in a war against the enemies of allah and uh, they come and ask you a question they ask you where uh, where muhammad is or where abdullah is and you say he's south whereas he's west this is okay, this is halal because you're trying to protect the Muslims and you're trying to save them from the harm of the uh, disbelieving enemies. The third type is to tell your wife, you look beautiful today. Or to tell your husband, Masha Allah, I like your thobe. Or I like your eyes, you look so handsome today. This lie is accepted by Allah because you are fixing and you are getting closer to your wife or your spouse and Allah loves that and that is of the mercy of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You see in Islam we say good things to our spouses so that we could get closer to Allah. So when you say that your wife, when you tell your wife you look good and she doesn't really look good but you're telling her you look good, <laughs> what happens here? You get a reward from the Almighty Allah. Same thing with your husband. If your husband stinks, if he just got back from outside and he smells like sweat and you say, mm hmm, you smell good, <laughs> you get a reward from the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even though you're telling a lie. So these are the lies that are accepted from the Almighty Allah and the person who falls into this category is not considered a liar. Other lies, anything other than that, it is rejected. Anything, even if you're joking, that is rejected from the Almighty Allah and that is considered to be a sin. The Messenger وسلم, said, Inna yahdi ilal birr, wa inna al birra yahdi ilal jannah. 
verily truthfulness leads to righteousness it leads to good and goodness and righteousness leads to paradise and verily lies lead to evil and evil leads to the hellfire we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from the hellfire and to make us amongst those who are righteous truthful honest servants of the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thank you very much for watching until next time inshallah share this video and hope to see you soon bi'idhnillahi ta'ala wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu